and Australia have shared a strong and cooperative relationship, spanning many issues of mutual interest and concerns over the last 60 years. In 2010-11, the two-way trade of goods and service between Australia and India totaled over 21 billion US dollars, with the top three exports being coal, gold, and education. Around 100 Australian companies have set up offices in India, which have given a major boost to Indian-Australian trade relations. India's demand for Australia, Australian resources is also ra raising. We are seeing sig significant opportunities in other sectors as well, including biotechnology, tourism, infrastructure, construction, financial services, agribusiness, and health-related services. Australia and India are also cooperating in critical new areas like water management, new and renewable energies, and food security. An intergovernmental agreement on science and technology was concluded in 1986, under which MOU have been entered into an areas of space, metrology, science and technology research, education, scientific training, and there is a joint working group on science and technology and biotechnology. In 2006, the two governments set up Australian Indian Strategy Research Funds. The fund has a contribution of 65 million US dollars from each country. It covers several areas, including agriculture, astronomy, astrophysics, environmental sciences, microelectronics, and various other fields. There were a few trade and economic framework agreement, agreement for avoidance of double taxation and prevention of fiscal evasion of, with respect to taxes of, on income, agreement on promotion and protection of investment, a service ag agreement. These are the few bi bilateral agreements signed between the two countries. So what I request all the businessmen over here that we are running with a great relationship with this big country. And definitely the people of Hyderabad should utilize this opportunity. When the consulate himself is here, exploring these kind of opportunity in front of you, definitely, definitely we should grab this opportunity to increase our trades with Australia.